So luckily the weather is actually really nice today. So I am outside filming, which is great. Um, I much prefer to film outside near rock um, than in my place. Um, we're gonna look at a couple harnesses today and just talk about the differences and what I think about them and just review probably what I've got for four harnesses. Um, Rowan, my brother, uses again a different harness to the four that I've got set out that is um, a fairly basic harness but still good for guiding as he does still do rock guiding for work at times. Um, but it is a different brand and a different company to what I've currently got um, set up from what I use or what I have used. So I've got four harnesses at the moment. Two of them are semi-retired. They're ones that I give friends um, or use with friends when they are new to climbing and we're just doing some easy top rope stuff or maybe, maybe beginning to teach them to lead. But for the most part, I have retired to the first two harnesses we're going to look at. Okay, so the first harness we're going to look at is the first harness that I sort of started with when I got back into climbing seriously. Um, quite a simple harness. One single belay loop, a few gear loops, very easily adjustable. And if you're looking for something that is quite simple and good for top rope and just sport climbing, this thing is fantastic. So this is the Camp Flint Harness. So it has four gear loops, one belay loop, fully adjustable legs, fully adjustable waist, is quite comfortable, very adjustable. And if you're just doing some, starting to get into sport stuff, so bolted ropes, this is a great little harness that's quite cheap. Um, I really liked it for quite a while, but I quite quickly, once I got back into climbing um, years ago, seriously, um, I, I it was very quickly the guys that I was climbing with doing um, trad, multi-pitch, um, sort of more, not more serious, but bigger stuff. So I suddenly found myself retiring this harness from my main use and then going on to a next harness. So when I found myself in that situation of needing a bit more when it came to a harness, when I really, really got back into climbing, um, unfortunately this harness has been put out of um, the market. I don't think they sold enough, so they basically stopped making them, which is really unfortunate. So this is the Camp Cassing um, Warden. And it was amazing as a um, harness, and I used it for a long, long time. So it, it has one belay loop, but it is fully adjustable, quite lightweight, packs, packs down well, packs down fairly to about the same size as this one, so quite small, but has a bunch of gear loops, which I really, really liked, a rated haul loop, which I really, really liked, and just the full adjustability of it all um, and comfort of it all was just fantastic. But it got to a point where it was getting a bit worn and I wanted to keep it so that it was still usable for friends, but it wasn't my sort of daily use harness for work or recreation. So I put that one aside, um, but yeah, I, I wish they still made these. If they still made these, that's what I would be using today. Very comfortable, a lot of gear loops, very functional on longer multi-pitch type things. But I've put that one aside again as ones that I use with friends as spare harnesses for people. Now we're going to quickly look at the two harnesses that I am currently using um, for work and for recreation. 
So the first, which I love for many reasons, is the Octon Weeby. So it has a bunch of gear loops, it has a um, slot for a tool um, accessory, quite similar to the next one I'm going to show you. Um, it has dual belay loops, which I love. <clears throat> And it is incredibly packable. It packs down to a tiny size. And the design of it, I'm going to take myself out of the frame. The design of it is this kind of semi fabric, semi plastic, very sheddable. So if you're in rain, if you're in ice, sleet, snow, this just sheds everything. And it's fantastic. It stays dry, it's comfortable to wear. Um, and it just sheds all that stuff and it packs down tiny. So when I'm doing alpine stuff or like scrambly type routes, really long ones, um, or even like multi-pitch type stuff, this harness has just been incredible with all the gear loops, the full adjustability, very light. Um, the only con is that it is not quite as comfortable as a big wall harness can be. That's probably the only downside to it, really. Um, I'd say that it's got a lot of advantages. I think they've changed the name on it. So it used to be the Octon Weeby. I think it's now the Octon Weeby Big Wall. Um, and it comes in two different sizes. So they have changed that, but they still make this harness and I highly recommend it and highly recommend Octon as a brand. Now, the other harness that I use a lot for work is the Big Gun by Black Diamond. I use this a lot for work because it is extremely padded. It's got the two belay loops. It's got a lot of gear loops. A rated haul loop. And is just incredibly comfortable. The only issue with this one is that if you're in wet conditions or it's really really hot and you're sweating it absorbs all that water because it's so padded to make it comfortable. So it's amazingly comfortable but it does retain water which at times is not great. It also has a tool loop. Look I've got stuff on the harnesses I'm not really going to talk about that. It does have a tool um, attachment for a hammer or similar type thing, uh, which is great. But yeah, the downsides of it is that it does absorb water and that it does not pack down small. It um, packs down quite large. So it's not the easiest one to store and not one that I would recommend if you're in wet conditions. Um, I have seen alpine climbers and mountaineers using the Black Diamond Big Gun. Um, I don't really know how that works for them in those conditions, but they seem to like it and they seem to use it a lot. So it is a great harness and does have a lot of benefits, but really out of the four that I've shown you, my favourite is the Octon Weeby. Lightweight, it's got everything that the Big Gun has but it's lighter, a bit simpler, it just sheds any water, sweat, rain, sleet, ice, snow, whatever conditions you're in. Um, yeah, this is probably my favourite and the one that I use recreationally, whereas the big gun is that I, the one that I use when I'm at work guiding and I have to have a lot of gear on me just in case of vertical rescue scenario. So they're the two that I'm using at the moment. And look, I would still be using this harness, the Camp um, Kassen Warden, if it was still made. Um, but unfortunately, they obviously didn't sell enough, so it has been put off the market. So yes. The long and short of it is my go-to is the Octon Weeby, and my main work harness is the Black Diamond Big Gun, for the reasons that I've sort of explained. Um, yeah, just wanted to look at those four harnesses quite quickly, do a bit of a gear review. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. That would be amazing. 
and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.